Hello, this is a fully restored Bersendorfer 170, that's 5 foot 7 inches long. The piano was made in 1924, this is the original music stand. Now the piano's got an extremely perfect set of ivory keys. It's 85 notes long by the way, 85 keys. A lot of pianos made around that time were 85 keys, this is a Steinway. And this is a Grotrian Steinweg upright with 85 keys. You can always tell 85 keys, the two black ones at the top, go up to top A. This Kawhi here goes up to top C, so that's an extra three keys, uh, but they're not used for exam pieces at all, so don't need it for, for practicing for exams. Now, the piano's been fully restored to the highest possible standard. These are German bass strings. You can see very good string line here. It has German treble strings too, and they, they finish off individually on Bersendorf, so they're strung individually. Um, some pianos have them strung individually, and some they wind round. Here's a Kawhi where they go round and back round the pin, but on the Bersendorf, they're individual. It's Bersendorfer again. They say it's a slight advantage being individual. I don't think piano tuners really think that's much better, but uh, certainly attempt to be as good as possible. Sounds all perfect. Original, you can see some lighter colour shims there, which is normal when we restore a piano. If there's any sign of cracking, we always re restore it. The soundboard is much better the older soundboards than modern ones. It's a very rich, responsive bass. And, and mid, mid tenor here. Very even tone throughout, and just a nice full, just beautiful sound really. Bösendorfer's are nothing to compare with them. I, I really, really like Bösendorfer grand pianos. Problem is there aren't enough of them in the UK. Steinways outnumber them by about 20 to 1, I would say, uh, in terms of this is the Model M Steinways the same length. Um, you can see here they've got a new tuning block as well. There's the underside of the tuning block. You can see the, the different laminations there. Uh, that, that got into focus, sorry about that. There are different laminations here on the tuning block. Um, they're, they're individual, there's, there, it's a delignate tuning block and uh, there's, there's uh, countless laminations just to hold the tuning pins tight. There's a sample of a delignate tuning block. You can see the laminations and uh, they, they're, they're, the grain goes in different directions. Each layer has 90, 90 degrees different uh, from the other one. So, you, so it gets, holds the tuning pins as tight as possible. Got a new set of Arvel hammers, uh, see Arvel written on the side of that one, and if we look at the other one over here, they've got the date when they were made, the 21st of April 2016. As with all quality restoration, not only graphited here, but you also got the, the chalk here uh, to give as much lubrication as possible. That's the same as new pianos, exactly the same system used. See, we've also replaced the shanks, that gives really even uh, centre pins here, which gives the right friction on each note. Now, the hammers have been voiced for the unicorder pedal. Um, it's a slight fluffiness on the top you might be able to pick out on the video. You can also see a toning needle mark on the side here. So it might not come out very well, but they've been very finely toned and voiced. I forgot to mention we have extra wedge damping. This half wedge damping up to note 49 here, which uh, we specify because it gets better damping. It has excellent damping then up, up to note 49. And then it doesn't really need the extra half wedge or can tell it would, it's really much much more crisp when you've got the extra half wedge in. So that's a fully restored Bersendorfer 170 that's five foot seven inches long made in 1924 and it's about the richest warmest grand piano you can get of this length. It's a really excellent silky touch as well. Tenor areas sings beautifully and travel area And the quarter pedal's been toned as well. Thank you very much for listening.